have f of x equals e to the x times cosine of x. Well, to find the minimum and maximum, we know we have to take the derivative. Well, we have to take the derivative, so this is probably going to be a product rule. So let's just go ahead and take its derivative, f prime of x equals derivative of the first term, which is e to the x times cosine of x, plus derivative of the second term, negative sine of x times the first term. So if we simplify this a little bit, we get cosine of x minus sine of x. But we're looking for a minimum and maximum, so we're testing for critical uh, values, critical points. So we set this to equal to 0, and we end up with cosine of x equals sine of x. And this x can only be pi over 4, or 2 pi multiples of pi over 4. But well, we're looking for the interval between 0 and pi, so pi over 4 is the only critical value. So let's go ahead and see what that means. By testing the intervals around that, well, we know that pi over 4 is one value, 0 is the other bound, and pi is the other bound. So what we can do uh, by brute force is plug in every possible value between 0 and pi to the original function and find the graph and see where the mins and max are, but that is quite tedious. So we've already found the critical point, so that means there is a direction change at pi over 4, or maybe uh, not a direction change, just um, the slope is 0, and then it continues in the same path after. But either way, this is the only critical point at pi over 4. So let's test the values at 0, pi over 4, and pi to see what the max and mins are. So at 0, uh, the original expression becomes basically cosine of 0. So e to the 0 cosine of 0. This is 1. At pi over 4, e to the pi over 4, cosine of pi over 4. Well, we know that this is 1.55. And at pi, e to the pi, cosine of pi, we get negative 23.14. Four. So now we have these points, and we know that there's no change in directions or surprises in between them. So uh, these are the either max or mins within the interval. So the max value is here at pi over 4, which is 1.55, and the minimum value is here at negative at pi, which is negative 23.14. So here is the max, and here is the min. So all we're doing is finding the critical points and evaluating the function around those critical points to see the behavior of the graph. And that is the first derivative test.